These are the most emotional moments in celebrity history. Huge explosion rocked not just the arena, but the whole surrounding neighborhood. Like either they're gonna shoot me in the back. Thank you. And first, what happened to one of the bravest little boys wasn't just a tragedy. It created one of the most heartbreaking moments in the world of celebrities. This is Ronan Thompson. And as you can see, he was always smiling and full of life, especially when he was with his family. Until out of nowhere, he was rushed to the hospital and forced into intensive treatment. Doctors realized he was suffering from a serious condition called neuroblastoma, where a malignant tumor was causing his body to shut down. Unfortunately, they couldn't save him. The innocent little boy was only four years old. When singer Taylor Swift heard the news from Ronan's mother's blog, she knew she had to do something special to honor him. Maya Thompson, Ronan's mother, wrote about his brave fight against cancer on her blog. Deeply moved, Taylor decided to write a song in his memory. At the Stand Up To Cancer event, Taylor performed Ronan live for the first time. The song was incredibly emotional. As she sang, an image of Ronan gazing at the camera with unforgettably blue eyes played on a screen behind her. The audience was moved, but the biggest moment of the night came when Taylor finished the song. She looked clearly emotional and was close to crying. However, she couldn't hold back her tears as she left the Shrine Auditorium. She was spotted wiping her eyes while walking hand in hand with her worried mother, Andrea Finley. Man, you got to respect Taylor for that. But one of the most heartbreaking events to ever take place at a concert was the tragic bombing at Ariana Grande's concert in Manchester. The night began like any other concert, filled with excitement and joy as fans gathered to see their favorite artists perform. However, the evening took a devastating turn that led to news that shocked the world. A deadly blast outside of an Ariana Grande concert, killing at least 22, injuring at least 59. The concert was nearing its end when the explosion occurred. A suicide bomber detonated an improvised explosive device in the foyer area of the Manchester arena, just as the attendees were leaving the venue. The scene was chaotic and heartbreaking. This wasn't a moment that the fans or the world would ever forget. The following days saw an outpouring of grief and support. Memorials were set up outside the Manchester arena where people laid flowers, lit candles, and left messages of love and solidarity. The emotional impact was felt globally. The star of the show, Ariana Grande, was deeply affected by the tragedy. She temporarily suspended her tour and returned to Manchester to visit injured fans in the hospital. She also organized a benefit concert, One Love Manchester, which took place just two weeks after the attack. The concert featured performances from numerous artists and raised millions for the victims and their families. Here's where things got extra emotional as the entire audience joined in singing, and tears flowed freely both on stage and among the crowd, turning the event into a beacon of hope and unity. That's sad. And to this day, I still can't believe it even happened. But I bet you'll be even more moved when you hear this story about Selena Gomez. Despite her success as a singer and actress, Gomez has faced some of the toughest moments anyone could endure. Selena Gomez's most emotional moment came during an interview on The Today Show, where Selena Gomez candidly discussed her kidney transplant. I had arthritis. I My kidneys were shutting down. I just kept my mentality was just to keep going it was a tough conversation for gomez and her emotions started to show as gomez spoke about her experiences she became visibly emotional she opened up about the pain of dealing with anxiety and depression conditions that were exacerbated by her lupus diagnosis her voice wavered and tears welled up in her eyes i really do i don't I don't think what we went through was easy. Selena shared how she often felt overwhelmed and alone, despite her public persona and success. I wouldn't want anybody to hurt or understand or feel alone, and I get it. She described the immense pressure to appear strong and the difficulty in acknowledging her vulnerabilities. Her candidness and vulnerability struck a chord with many viewers as she revealed a side of herself that is rarely seen. This emotional interview made headlines and resonated deeply with fans around the world. But what if I told you another celebrity's most heartbreaking moment came because of some ruthless criminals? It was just another glamorous night in Paris for Kim Kardashian, the city of love, Luxury and lights had always been a second home to her. But on October 3, 2016, Paris turned into a city of nightmares. Kim posted several pictures on Instagram, flaunting her exquisite jewelry. Among them was her dazzling $4 million engagement ring. 
a symbol of her love and success. Little did she know those posts were being watched. A gang of criminals had their eyes on her, meticulously planning their heist. They knew the ins and outs of her routine, and they had one clear objective, her precious jewels. Five masked men dressed as police officers gained access to the residence by threatening the concierge at gunpoint. They forced him to lead them to Kim's apartment. Once inside, they held Kim at gunpoint, tied her up, and locked her in the bathroom. The robbers stole an estimated $10 million worth of jewelry, including her engagement ring. The entire ordeal lasted about six minutes. Kim was left shaken but unharmed physically. Kim later made several emotional statements about the robbery. On David Letterman's show, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, she detailed the terrifying experience. And this is when things got devastating. Um, he grabbed me and pulled me towards him. It's like, the time I'm going to get raped, like, just deal, prepare yourself. So I did, and then... I don't know why I'm crying. I've talked about this before. During an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Kim described how the robbery profoundly changed her. She spoke about feeling a shift in her values, focusing less on material things and more on her family and well-being. She also highlighted the psychological impact, including a heightened sense of vulnerability and trauma. Shout out to Kim for staying strong. But listen, not every emotional moment a celebrity deals with has a sad ending. Because what started off as a struggle for J.K. Rowling is actually the only reason she was most motivated to become one of the biggest authors in the world. Joanne, just a woman who grew up dreaming of writing books, had to face a series of hardships that would eventually lead her to unimaginable success. She faced the heartbreak of her mother's death, a tumultuous marriage that ended in separation, and the challenge of raising her daughter Jessica as a single mother. Living in Edinburgh, Scotland, far from any big-name literary connections that could help her achieve her dream, she was kind of forced to make tough decisions that eventually became some of the most heartbreaking things a young woman could deal with. With. I was jobless, a lone parent, and as poor as it is possible to be in modern Britain without being homeless, she once said. But despite these hardships, she found solace in writing. Every day, she would push Jessica in her stroller to a local cafe, and while her daughter slept, she poured her heart into writing her story. But it wasn't an easy journey. She faced rejection after rejection from publishers. Twelve of them, to be exact, told her no before she finally got a yes. It was Bloomsbury, a small London-based publisher that saw the potential in her work. Work. Even then, they advised her to get a day job because children's books weren't seen as a way to make a living. Then in 1997, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was published, and everything changed. The book quickly gained popularity, with readers of all ages falling in love with the young wizard's story. Joe's dedication and perseverance had paid off in a way she could never have imagined. From that point on, it seemed like Joanne was not only sacrificing, but going harder than ever just to prove to those who doubted her that they messed up by giving up on her. The motivation definitely helped because Joe eventually made her way to become one of the most famous authors in the world. The Harry Potter series turned into a global phenomenon with books selling over 500 million copies and being translated into 80 languages. She didn't stop there. Joe used her success to give back to the community, founding the Volant Charitable Trust to help combat poverty and social inequality. She became one of the most influential people on the planet, not just because of her books, but because of her commitment to making the world a better place. Joanne Rowling had gone from a struggling single mother to a literary icon. Her story is one of resilience and determination, proving that even the most challenging beginnings can lead to extraordinary success. I bet those publishers regret rejecting J.K. Rowling now, but all right. Now that we have time for one more emotional moment, how about something so heartbreaking it even made the toughest action star in Hollywood tear up? Just take a look at Dwayne Johnson. You'd never expect a man covered in muscles who trains like he's preparing for a championship fight and performs stunts that defy belief to ever be vulnerable enough to let the world see him cry. But what happened between him and his late father, Rocky Johnson, made it happen. Ever since The Rock started his career, he was always a fan favorite because of his larger-than-life persona and the fact that he helped elevate professional wrestling to new heights. What was happening here was more than just entertainment for him, though. The relationship he had with his father was incredibly important to him, shaping every aspect of his life and career. Rocky Johnson was a trailblazer in wrestling, and he pushed Dwayne hard, instilling a relentless work ethic and a never-give-up attitude. But their relationship was complicated and often strained due to Rocky's tough love approach. Despite the challenges, Dwayne always respected 
respected and admired his father's strength and determination. Everything The Rock was doing, from his wrestling career to his blockbuster movies, was deeply influenced by his father. Eventually, though, the time came that all fans were scared of. Rocky Johnson passed away in January 2020. To honor his father, The Rock planned a special tribute that left an entire audience emotional. As he recounted his childhood memories and the tough love lessons from his dad, The Rock's voice began to waver. I wish I had one more shot, you know, just to say goodbye, say I love you, say thank you, respect you, but you know, my dad would be saying, kayfabe the tears. He spoke about how Rocky helped him find his path in life, channeling his energy into sports, which eventually led to his successful career. Despite his efforts to maintain composure, tears streamed down his cheeks as he expressed his deep gratitude for everything his father taught him.